Hi, everybody. Welcome to Disney Trivia Live, the show. Where is everybody? This is like, this is scary. We have people out there watching. It's been a lot of chats. Hi, Tron. Sorry you're not feeling well. Breaking news. Dan, the breaking news man is here. Hello, Caitlin. More of you are out there. You need to let me know. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Disney Trivia Live, the show in which we play Disney Trivia Live. My name is to be Mosley. I am the co-founder here of A Laughing Place. That is what you co-found. I also co-host this show. That's also what you co-host. What else do I do here? I do I do a lot of the backstage work, a lot of the tech work for a lot of. I do all of the tech work for Laughing Place. You are what you watch shows sometimes on here, right? I, I watch shows. I'm in some shows. Disney Parks Talk every Monday. Um, but my main job here is help make decisions and do uh, do um, all the tech work. That's my main stuff here. And this here is Gideon. Howdy. His main job here, his only job here right now is to co-host Disney Trivia Live, but he's 15. Pretty soon, he's going to be doing some writing for Laughing Place. I think that's a, that's a given because, you know, we always can use people on the news desk. Hey, we got a couple more. Hello, Broken Jeremiah. There, wait, there's a group called the Doobie Brothers? Did you know that? I feel like I've heard that before. You're kidding, right? What? You didn't know that for sure? I think I think yeah. that. Yes, Michael McDonald, the Doobie Brothers. I'm well aware of the Doobie Brothers. Hello, Nikki B. Busy thinking of a name to use. Okay. That's That's still, we've had five people say something in the chat today. That is not acceptable. That is. Speak up, people. Trio, are you there? Are you there, Trio? Uh, Jason, um, Tucker, uh, so many people. Speak up. I know Donna's not there today. Donna's in uh, Walt Disney World. Sent me a picture from the Skyliner. So jealous. So jealous. How have you been doing? I've been doing good. How have you been doing? I love your jacket. I feel we need to yeah. show off the jacket here. Well, if you want to see the jacket, you should have watched Barely Necessities today. <laughs> I love seeing you on that. That made me so happy. So Gideon just got this jacket as Season of the Force kicked off. A bunch of new Star Wars merch. Star Wars merchandise. This is a Star Tours cast member hoodie. Looks a lot like the cast with the cast members yeah, wear there. Yeah, it's like it's a hoodie designed after the Star Tours cast member costume. And Mom's right. You can't see this at all on the camera. Oh, you can see it now. It's not too close. You can actually see it yeah. the way that is. And then you need to... it says dark outside. You need to good point. Stand up and show them the back of it. Can you see it on the back? Yeah. It's just the Star Tours logo. Star Tours. Disneyland. 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 Uh-huh. Disneyland Resort. And uh, your favorite part. you got to show your favorite part. Yes. Um, <laughs> the Bucky shirt. Sure <laughs> underneath. Uh, around like where that meets, uh, it says the adventures continue a bunch of times. Look who's here, Donna. I know you have better things to do. We're in Gideon's, I like Gideon's for three days in Florida. That makes sense. Is your game format available for use other for other YouTube channels? It is not. It's just a custom thing that I actually wrote. LP quiz is something I wrote. As I said, I do the tech work for LP. And it is not currently available for anyone else. If you think it's good, maybe we're missing out. Instead of a website, we should have a product out there. You should. I should, actually, now that I think about this. We could host it ourselves. Right. Write that down. Write that down. Hey, Nathaniel. Nice to see you. What up, Fred Ramirez? Great to see you. Madam Leota, I'm too busy watching. If you're watching wrestling, then okay. Then I'm sorry. We, we excuse you for not speaking up if you're busy watching wrestling. Like the spoon tour window. Log spoon tour window like three times. It's like, oh, let me try that again. Oh, one more time. Oh, okay. I think it's more like, wait, no, no, I need to stop. Ow, ow, ow. It like, <laughs> like kept going and it couldn't like stop itself in time. So it like, and then once it bounced back, it kept on going for a little bit more. So it had to like restart. That would happen. We have a job to do. What? Right. Sing happy birthday. Oh, no. Uh, wait, no, no. No, no. Yes, yeah. Oh, no. All it's right. Princess Schnebs. She's blank, blank years old today. Is it ready, ready? Ready. <laughs> that, that's enough. Yeah, that's more than enough. Thank you so much for stopping there. Uh, I would not mind trying to set that off. Some, yeah, I, I think I might actually get one when we go to Florida next and get the Disney World version. Mike Celestino is in Batu today. Thank you for, he can't hear us, but everyone say hi to Mike Celestino in the chat. Um, I presume he's just here for a moment. I guess he's doing some work. I didn't know we could be received in Batu. I guess yeah. they have internet up there. I don't know the time they? difference. Ah, Geo, oh, tired from the parks, but they're closer. My other favorite place. Aw. 
Uh, let's see who else we got here. Yeah, so many. Ha 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 ha. Okay, this is better. Now we've got some some chat work up. Oh, Jason Champagne, <gasps> not here today. Oh, that's a that's a. Wanted to pop in and say hello. We're under tornado warning, so that weather report is up on TV. You know. That feels like a. Have you not heard of picture in picture? You got the LP TV right up. I feel like. And then down here you got tornado the tornado warning. If the tornado's reason. coming, it's got to give something on the phone or something. Watching the TV and kind of make it any clearer. Like having a tornado warning is a good reason to miss trivia. Do not That's take fine. advice, safety advice from Doobie. That is, that is, uh, now we do hope, you, yes, thank you, Donna, for making me be a normal person. We do hope the Champagne family is okay. They get through this with no issues and all sincerity. Mm -hmm. I think we've reached the time. The time for what? The time for rules. Because now is the time. Now is the best time to play the rules. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to Disney Trivia Live! We're about to start our contests, but first, let's quickly go over everything you need to know for how to play our simple online trivia game. First off, there are two screens you'll need to see, this live stream and the trivia program you will use to answer. On computer, you can just put the two windows side by side, but on other devices, you may have to use your imagination. If you're playing by yourself, you can put our show on an iPad or something and play on your phone. Or if you're hosting some trivia party with friends, throw us up on your TV and let everyone play on their phones. Oh, and not the old-fashioned type of phones. You'll need a phone that can run websites. Websites like... LP Quiz! LP Quiz is a custom trivia program written by this guy for you specifically for this show! All you have to do is go to LPQuiz.com and type in the four-digit code you will give when it's time to play the game. Then just pick a name and you're good to go. Now the quizzes are simple. Questions come up, you answer. The faster you answer, the more points you'll get. At the end, the person with the most points wins. But what kind of questions do we have? Let me tell you. Single select, choose one of the multiple choice answers. Multi select, choose one or more of the multiple choice answers. Then hit submit. Unscramble, you are given a bunch of letters and, get this, have to unscramble it into a word. Ooh. Crowdsource, an opinion question will be asked. But rather than saying what you think, say what you think the most popular answer will be. Type in. A question is given without multiple choice. You must type in your own answer. Abbreviations are fine, as long as we can tell what you mean. And poll. Not for points, just to get to know all of you lovely viewers better. Oh, and we have prizes. If luck is on your side, you will win your very own Disney Trivia Live Maglet. There are two ways to win. Way 1, get first place. And way 2, finish in the spot that the wheel... I said wheel... Wheel... Lands on. In order to claim your prize, just take a screenshot of your winning screen and send it to trivia at laughingplace.com. Well, that's about it. You understand how to play, where to play, what the question types are, and how to win, which leaves one more thing to do. Grab your popcorn, grab your friends, and get ready to enjoy Disney Trivia Live, where there is in fact trivia, sometimes. Okay, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I knew you were gonna be. Good, good news. What? Uh, Jason has decided where to go. Change their mind. We're watching trivia. Yay! That is the right decision, which is not the same as the safe decision. Can't hear you. No audio. <laughs> Unmute. Muted. Wow. <laughs> we have we have good fans. Wow. Wow. One day he'll master the program. See you. <laughs> Two quizzes for you guys today. Two, yeah, wait, two, wait, wait. Two well, it will happen first. You figure out how to use this program correctly, or Universal Epic Universal Theme. Me. I, the only your way. I got it. I got it. We've got two quizzes. Two <laughs> quizzes, but we can't hear you, Doobie. <laughs> Who is this that knows this that well? That's so funny. We've got two quizzes for you guys today. Our first quiz, you can hear me now, right? It's written by yes, me. Why <laughs> would you kill oh, yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what has two thumbs and wrote both quizzes? This guy. Um, and it is um, called. Uh, I, I just wanted to say something. Um, Dan says the Oscar for goes to Gideon for editing. I'm not sure why, but thank you very much. Good video. Uh, our first quiz is called Randomizer Number Three. 
uh, somewhere I have a database of a bunch of questions. Sometimes when I'm out of ideas, I just get 10 random numbers, pick those questions, and that is our contest. That's what this is. Permits have been filed for beyond. This guy's a mean. Oh, wait, did you know the name of this month is also the name of the voice of Crabbell Cow? Who is that, April Winchell? The only April I know. They show me. YouTube has automatic captioning, doesn't it? I don't think it does when you're this live. No? Okay. Then you have to wait to the trade off you have to make. You know how it works, Mike. You, you don't need. Um, you need to get like an LP name tag that like, says, like, it says like Laughing Place and then your name, then like on your like, favorite attraction or something like that. That's a good idea, actually. Here, let me do this one right. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Please no, don't leave that up. But hopefully you got to see that, Mike. All right, our second. We, we didn't get a third person being like, when, like, like they have in courtrooms, like to like type everything that we say on and the, then like put it up on the stethoscope. <laughs> the stethoscope. I don't think, think that's what it's called. Our second quiz. Thank you, Deborah. Who are you, Deborah? Just popping in here, helping out. Um, is called April showers. That is correct. So we have uh, randomizer number three and April showers. Drop, and drop, drop. if you should win either of today's quizzes or finish in a place as designated by our participation trophy wheel you will win by the way one own. of the smiley faces i found uh um in my bed last night in the wheel that's kind of funny because because i because i take the blanket out of my room and then use it during the show oh okay and i guess it fell off the wheel i thought this was blanket. like your comfort wheel you were sleeping with no i did not ouch yeah that would have hurt yeah it's kind of pokey you will win your very own one-of-a-kind disney Trivialized Maglet brought to you by my wallet. All right. And with that, let us ask you to get the LP quiz. Oh, okay. Breaking news. It's not a stethoscope. It is a stenographer. So, yes, someone who can type really fast on the stenographer. That would be very helpful. Get yourself to lpquiz.com. What's the name of the, what's the person who does it? I guess it's a, a stenographer. <laughs> lpquiz.com. 8893-8893. If you would like to use lpquiz.com on your YouTube channel to play your very own quizzes, let me know. Maybe I'm missing out on a product here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Broken Jeremiah is debating, calling off work and going. There is no debate, Broken Jeremiah. Do not take career advice from Doobie, but always choose Disney over work. I basically took a solid year of my life where uh, I chose Disney over work. I'm still yet to recover financially from it, but in every other aspect of my life, it was fantastic. Fantastic. All right, uh, Madam Leota, one little spark. Moral of the story, don't take advice from you. In general. In, in general, whether it's tornado safety advice or work advice, relationship advice. Don't, don't Parenting? Eh, that one's okay. Okay. Aw, thank you. But I mean, don't, don't ditch people you might one day marry on Main Street, okay? That's not a good idea. Wow. I did not ditch her on Main Street. Don't listen to Nick. Do not listen to Nick. That is... I don't know. I've heard you tell the story. It sounds a lot like you ditched her on Main Street. I did not ditch her. I kept walking past her. We were never together. Just like the trades on the exactly. first Exactly. You can't ditch someone you weren't with. I may have arranged to meet her and plans change as they tend to. <laughs> I thought I heard something, but I, I didn't quite come through. She said, say, say it one more time. When you tell someone where to meet you and you go somewhere else, that's ditching, says my mom. If I wanted to ditch her, would we be married today? No. I Plans change. <laughs> Mom is home. She is in the other room. All right. Um, she's just in the other room right now. She's oh, resting. We, we, she's we, resting after her it was long a day. trip. It was a day. And yes, she yeah. did have a long trip. Let's let's spin that. I mean, let's uh, play something. Oh, yeah, here's the mission. I do not realize it. Oh, my goodness. That's not easy. I, oh, I forgot to switch it. I'm all messed up. Let's see. Yeah. Spin. spin that, that wheel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, in honor of Charlie, let us spin that wheel. All right. Hey, Cody Rhodes is here, the, the new champion of the WWE. Uh, seventh you. place. So if you finish in first or seventh, funnily enough, seventh happens to be in the 13th spot in the original wheel. Cody Rhodes is here. He's the champion of WWE. Dusty Rhodes' son. 
I feel like if uh, Dan breaking news, Ben would ever make a spin that wheel, it's be breaking news. Get in if you spin the wheel. You should. Oh, Depeche Mode. Hey, now, Depeche Mode <laughs> is here. And Spidey. All right. Um, what are we supposed to do? We spin the wheel. Oh, we need one of you to tell us your... Caitlin's there. All right, we got it ready, so let's get going. <laughs> we got it ready. You guys have no patience for me today. The GTL trivia system TM now available. Typos and inverted mute classic. You know people. <laughs> you know people. We're going to start this game with a poll. Giddy, tell them why. Our test gets in any better than your test. Use the lovely, lovely, lovely user interface. I don't know how this person knew this, but which 80s <laughs> band is the greatest is our poll today. I think it says more about you than it does about the person. <laughs> Duran Duran, Depeche Mode, U2, or R.E.M. Which of these 80s bands is the greatest? There's no, there, This is a bad poll. There's no none of the above options. Of these four, which is the greatest? And if you've not heard of any of these four, I, I would never ask anyone to go do something else, but it hurts. It hurts. Nikki B says Duran Duran. Fantastic choice. They are a great band. They're not the best here, but they are a great band. Who else we got? They, I know you like Depeche Mode. I love Depeche Mode. They are the best ever. This is Susanna Hoff from the Bengals. Not a choice here, but uh, great band as well. Donna, you're not too old. You know 80s. You were rocking in the 80s. You were at Duran Duran concerts back in the day. Caitlin also says Duran Duran. So who's the Duran Duran for you guys? Is it is it uh, Roger Taylor, John Taylor, Andy Taylor, Nick Rhodes, or Simon LeBone? <laughs> Jenny Parra wants a multi-select. Mike says other. Mike Celestino. He, he wants like a... Well, he can't hear me, so why do you tell him? He wants to like make, make a little birdhouse in your soul or something. <laughs> Not to put too fine a point on it. Sam, you want to be in your bonnet? You guys said Duran Duran, very fine answer, followed by Depeche Mode, very fine answer. You, two, This is exactly... Hey, Dad, you want to feel old? What? Caitlin wasn't born yet. And my mom put... And neither were you. That's true. That's okay. The 80s but were I'm a long child, time ago. So okay. The 80s were a long time ago. I realized I am 53 years old and ancient. Was it the 90s, like 40 years ago? No. Was it 30 years 30 ago? 30 years ago. Okay, it's a little bit better. Thank you. Yeah. All right, randomizer. These could be literally anything in the world anything. here. Anything at all. Question number one. What is the name of Phineas and Ferb's sister? Are the photos for two? Yes, they are. Is it Ashley, Candace, Jordan, or Michelle? So we have random questions with random pictures. The name of Phineas and Ferb's sister. Which do you like more, Phineas and Ferb or the Haunted Mansion? Haunted Mansion. Okay. It's figured. Mike Celestino was the one who likes Michael Stipe, which is R.E.M. So, R.E.M.'s a great band. A great band. I wonder where I'm about to make Oh, that, I didn't hear the story of the watch, Broken Dream. I saw the watch, and I heard there was a story, but I missed the actual story. So, that's really cool. That is cool. WrestleMania 40. You don't even have to be a wrestling fan. WrestleMania 40 was incredible. Incredible. I'm so glad we watched it. What do you mean as a kid? The show's only like 15 years old. Watched it in my 40s. Correct answer here is Candace. Oh, that was almost magical. Yeah, it's a pretty famous show. We can't have a magic question today, though, because Donna. Oh, no, she's watching. So she yeah. And yes, the person who, who uh, voiced Sharpay, nope, who voiced Candace, played I mean, Sharpay. Definitely voiced Sharpay, too. <laughs> That's excellent point <laughs> in the High School Musical franchise. Ashley Tisdale, I believe, is her name. Uh, you used to... How do you know? Because she was also Sweet Maddie life. in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> oh, dude, it makes you think. Yeah, it does. I don't know what good that is, but yes, it does. <laughs> allows, oh. us to, allows you to read better since you need your wow. testicles. That's actually... That's very true. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. That is so <laughs> that's true. That's funny. That is so true. What, this? The other one. Yeah, that one. No, that, that, that one. There, Mom! There, 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 there's some Question and trivia show. They yeah. are. Candace. Well, well, actually, the Haunted Mansion. Their, their names are the, the Haunted Mansions in the next question. That was winner, Candace. All right. Caitlin in first place after one, followed by Uncle Orville, who also is a teenager and enjoys Phineas and Ferb, Master Gracie, Schnabs, and Spidey. <laughs> How did Uncle Orville go from being, like, older than dinosaurs to he wrapped a around. teenager? He wrapped around. He became so old, he became young again? <laughs> like when you play Pac-Man, you go off one side and you come back in the other. That's what he did with age. <laughs> Question number two. This is the second question. What comedian voiced Scuttle in 1989's <laughs> The Little Mermaid? Was Scuttle voiced by Buddy Hackett, Mel Brooks, Kark Reiner, or Red Fox? 
Are sure it wasn't Aquafina? Was it what? Aquafina. <laughs> yes. Oh, I need to hear that song. Again. Um, it also was not Kark Ryder. That should be Carl Ryder. But <laughs> <laughs> since um, it's not the answer, I can say Kark. Yes. The Celtics won. What is going on? Why are there arrows pointing to random places? I don't know. Okay. And then, which do you like more? Seven Seas Lagoon or The Little Mermaid? 1989 edition. Seven Seas Lagoon. Okay. Well, is this going to be the rest of the quiz? I guess we, every you're, time. You're going to just compare. I get to ask you. Is that for <laughs> whatever the photo is or whatever the question is? Yeah. Although, no, I take that back. Little Mermaid is my second favorite Disney movie, so I'm going to go with Little Mermaid. Okay. Oh, where are you, Donna? Where exactly are you staying right now? I'm very curious if you can let us know. If you don't have to let us know, obviously. Um, the correct answer is Buddy Hackett. Woo, 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 is the voice of Scuttle, not Aqua. We saw the Little Mermaid sing a long song at the El Capitan. Buddy Hackett was in attendance. They introduced me, stood up, and went, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> that's great. And that's, whenever I see Buddy Hackett, that's what I think of. Not the love bug, not his illustrious career, but going, woo, 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 in the El Capitan Theater. Uh, if a member of the trio is watching wrestling instead of playing, are the other two still colluding? I guarantee you, Madame Leota is not watching wrestling right now. <laughs> uh, Kark is my favorite character. <laughs> See, I put that I put that typo in there, Mike. So even though you can't hear, you can still make jokes, even though you could not hear me say that. After two questions, Schnebby has popped up in the first place. Caitlin Granby, Depeche Mode, Ginny Barra, and Chugs is in fifth place. Question number three. What was Disney's first coaster with an inversion? Was it California Screaming, Rock and Roller Coaster, Space Mountain at Disneyland Paris, or Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril at Disneyland Paris? Disney, Disney's first coaster with an inversion. Do you have a question for me? No. No? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I do. Sorry. I was looking. Which do you like more? Roller coasters with inversions or Bambi? Roller coasters with inversions. Easy. Okay. What about you? Bambi, because I don't like roller coasters. Period. Cart Griswold had a magnificent lighting. Just, you know, guys. <laughs> that was that was Clark, not Carl. <laughs> but still. <laughs> Go back to watching your Sinead warning, Jason. <laughs> which is more interesting to watch? The shower. You know which one has more mistakes, probably? This. One mistake. One mistake the whole show. Of you, Danny. Correct answer. Ah, fool job, guys. Yeah, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril actually predated Space Mountain and Rock and Roller Coaster and obviously California Screaming. So, fool ha. <laughs> you guys took a ride on Revolution. Chuggy's up in first place. Uncle Orville, because that was the first one with a full loop. One Little Spark, Madame Yoda, and Schnebby rounding out the top five. Oh. Broken Jeremiah tried some s'mores waffles. How were they, Broken Jeremiah? Let us know. S'mores? I may be at Angel Stadium later this year. Question number four. Really? Oh, yeah. What was Who was the narrator in Adventure Through Inner Space? Was it Paul Fries, Pete Renaday, Thurl Ravenscroft, or Mel Blank? Which do you like more? The Mickey Floral or, Mickey Floral or Adventure Through Inner Space? Adventure Through Inner Space. Hmm. I, I can't remember riding that ride. You can It was terrifying. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> my jokes have more corn than a brass. I because I was young. I was not your age, far younger than you. Okay, yeah. And I was not a hundred percent convinced mm -hmm. that that mighty microscope was not actually shrinking. <laughs> yeah. I looked carefully. I saw the people going in. I saw the little tiny things, and my stupid mind could not <laughs> be a hundred percent sure it wasn't the same vehicle. And then when you're actually I on the that. ride and you see that giant eye stare at you. That may be the scariest thing in the history of Disney. <laughs> Terrifying attraction. It's a giant eye. Out. <laughs> Are you looking at my ear? Terrifying attraction. Coming eye. Terrifying. It's still look different because it's so close to me. That's how, but it was giant, so it felt like it was close to you. That's how perception works. That is exactly how perception works, whatever word you tried to say. Perception? That's not what you said. I'm trying to say it. Rewind. <laughs> Correct answer is Paul Freeze, mm -hmm. who, according to Kidder, also narrated the OG Haunted Mansion and Great Moments with Mr. So Lincoln. Think, you could have gone to Disneyland, gone into a ride where you sit inside of a like a egg-shaped omnimover, 
uh, went through dark show scenes with Paul Freese narrating. He could have gone to the other side of the same park and then ridden an egg-shaped omni mover with Paul Freese narrating. Which I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. All right, so Mike can't hear us. He is apparently sitting in front of Smuggler's Run for several hours, and it's been a walk-on most of that time. I don't know why Mike is there, so Mike. Ask him why he's not riding the ride. Why are you there, fireworks. Oh, he's there for fireworks. Why aren't you riding the ride? See? It was very scary if you were not sure. age at the time. Oh, I'm sure it was scary. I'm not, I'm not denying it. It yeah. makes Adventure sense. Adventure to space and then alien encounter. Plus the narration. Like, like Do I go deeper? People that go this deep get split apart and never come back. Pretty much. Do I go pretty inside much. the atom? The smallest thing people know about? That's kind of, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Pretty much the narration. That is terrifying. Pretty cool looking creators. Miracles! Yeah, then, then you exit into that. <laughs> okay, Paul Freeze was the right, right answer after four questions. Chuggy still in first place. Uncle Orville, One Little Spark, Madam Little, and Schnebs. Mike is waiting for Fire of the Rising Moons. I thought some more people would be camping out. He's just sitting there all by himself. Fire of the Rising Moons is the Disneyland fireworks show, but when you see them at two, they now have new music. And Mike was there on opening day, and it got winded out. So he is back there today to try to see it for his own self. Good luck, Mike. Question number five. Oh, multi-select. Choose on apply. And don't forget to hit submit. Which of these locations were, were or are located at Disney World's Boardwalk? Flying Fish, Rainforest Cafe, Atlantic Dance Hall, Piano rolls. We have more. We have more yellow uh, arrows. I need to think. Yeah, I don't remember what this is. What this is. It's pointing at. I believe that's where. I believe that's dinosaur. Dinosaur. It's. Uh, I think it's where Primeval World was. Oh. I don't remember huh. why. But anyway, which of these locations were or are located at Disney's Boardwalk, Flying Fish, Rainforest Cafe? Atlantic Dance Hall, Piano Rolls, could be one, two, three, Speaking or four of these. of a Rainforest Cafe, which is better? Uh, Animal Kingdom's Rainforest Cafe, or Disney Springs' Rainforest Cafe? Animal Kingdom's Rainforest Cafe. Okay. I, I really prefer it. I mean, the food is the same, it's, but, but I really like the location of Animal Kingdom. You want to walk straight out of the park into it. Disney Springs is kind of a pain to get to. But the volcano. It's cool. The volcano's nice from a distance, but if you're there, you don't even see it. But, but, but it adds a lot. So, okay, which is better or which is better to go to? It's just better. Then I'll find Disney Springs. But to go to would be Animal okay, Kingdom. That's fair. Do you know they have one of those in Disneyland Paris? A Rainforest Cafe? Yeah, and they're, they're Disney Village. Really? Someone in downtown Disney. Yep. Huh. Am I right, Kyle? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, I prefer Dak because we ate there together. Who was we? Did we eat there during the LP retreat? Did we eat there during we the LP did. retreat? We I did. I completely forgot about that. We totally would have. Because remember, we did oh, the I elephant remember. thing. Oh, I do remember. I do remember We did the elephant there. thing. Yeah. And so afterwards, I'm pretty sure we ate something. Yeah, I think I do remember that because, you know, we were wondering things. Um, yeah. Anyway. And then the next day. Yes, there is one in Disneyland. We went to Capone. Flying Fish and Atlantic Dance Hall. Rainforest Cafe, as we just discussed, is at Animal Kingdom and Disney Springs, mm-hmm. which I guess we kind of gave away. There's not one at Boardwalk. <laughs> Kind of been a third. And piano rolls is close. There is a place there called Jelly Rolls, not piano rolls. After five questions, oh, that took Chugs out of the running, not out of the running, but away from a perfect score. Uncle Orville is now in first place, the only perfect score running. Way to go, UO. Tender age is seven. Very impressive. Question number six. It's going down. (laughs) Who wrote the lyrics for the 1989 film *The Little Mermaid*? Was it written? Were they written by Stephen Schwartz, the Sherman Brothers, Time Rice, or Howard Ashman? Treasure Island Rice. <laughs> Sh- Stephen Schwartz, the Sherman Brothers, hmm. Tim Rice, or Howard Ashman? Who wrote the lyrics for *The Little Mermaid*? Which is better, Mrs. Hmm. Bigger or Mrs. Bigger's baby? <laughs> no, that's which is bigger. Uh, which is better, *The Little Mermaid*? The movie, or The Little Mermaid, The Ride. The movie. But The Ride is solid. The Ride, the ride in Florida or The Ride at PCA? They're the same. PCA, because it has Mr. Limpid. Yeah, but Florida has a better queue, so it like, kind of balances out. Yeah. 
Jason fell for the piano rose, even though we've seen piano rob at Jelly Rolls. Yeah, fell for it. Yeah, fell for it. Rob Fred Ramirez thinks it's the late, great Howard Ashman. Mike Celestino thinks it's Lin Manuel Miranda, which is why he does not cover music for us here at Laughing Place, but instead covers Star Wars. The correct answer is what's fun is Mike is here and I can talk about him all I want and he can't hear it. <laughs> Howard Ashman is the correct answer. Plot twist, he can't hear you. You just said that's what we got to say. <laughs> Uh, yes, he and um, Mankin <laughs> did the music for Little Mermaid, Eight, nine. which brought back, <laughs> which brought back uh, the Renaissance, and uh, which continued on after that with, of course, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin, and, and, and uh, no, not Rescue Rescue under is the really next not. one. It's really not. It just skipped over us. It, it sure did. How is it a Renaissance then? Because it just the movies are under production simultaneously. They injected this new method into. Little Mermaid, they did not inject it into Rescuers Down Under. But it was still part of that period, yeah. release period. Well, it's not. No. Uncle Orville's in first place, the best band in the world's in second. Schnebby, Chuggy Chug, and One Little Spark. I just guys want, I, I don't choose favorites when we play this game, but please, someone, catch Uncle Orville. <laughs> Question number seven. That's not very nice to do to a four year old. <laughs> That's a good point. What species is Hera Sindula in Ahsoka? Is it. Is that person a Sulistan, a Twi'lek, a Shagrian, or an Arcona? Which is better, Ahsoka or take a guess? People mover? No, the the, the rockets on oh, top the of the rocket. It. Oh, easily Ahsoka. I think I've been on that ride once. Scariest thing ever. I've never done it in Florida. It terrifies. I think I'm ready to do it now in Florida. You want to know why I'm scared? I'll do it with you in Florida next time you go. I won't help you to be less scared, but that would be fun. I know you said the same vehicle. Oh, okay. You. you know why I was scared? Because I'm huge. The ride is accommodating. It can accommodate any size, pretty mm-hmm. much. I'm huge. And whenever I get on a ride, when I'm huge, I always figure I'm the test case. You know, they, they make these rides to accommodate certain, mm-hmm. and they test it, I'm sure, within certain range. Mm-hmm. And I always figure I'm right on the edge of that range. I don't want to be the one that breaks the test. So now I've lost a little weight. I think I'll feel a little more comfortable on it. Okay. I think I'm ready to do it. Still terrifying because of the height, but I think I'm not actually think I'm going to die. Let me remind you, it's Dumbo. People don't fall out of Dumbo. You you ridden Dumbo, right? I love Dumbo. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Dumbo doesn't break. Dumbo doesn't go as fast. He's not, not going to fly off Dumbo. I don't think because he does. Nikki B. Nikki B. Oh come on! I think there's at least one person watching the show who thinks this is an awesome question, right, Mike? Correct answer is a Twi'lek. See, everybody knew this. The same species she is. <laughs> Mike! Read these lips. I'm helping people know what show she's from. Moron. <laughs> moron. Mike, you're a moron. You should know better than to say dumb, say dumb stuff like that. <laughs> hey. You can be guessed right, despite not having a clue. Way to go. Woo-oo. Uncle Oh Schnebby popped Woo-oo. up in the second place. Let's go, Schneb. Somehow Uncle Orville got that, even though Star Wars came out when he was negative 42 years old. Question number eight. Oh, crowdsource. You know what that means. You want to choose what the majority will choose. Which character would you most want to have as a co-worker? Mm-hmm. Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, or Daisy Duck? Mm-hmm. Not what you want, but you think the majority will want. Majority of the people in this quiz right now. Who do you want as a coworker? Donald, Minnie, Goofy, or Daisy? Who do you think would make the best coworker? Walt Disney. I think Donald. Give me a good boss. Every every office needs that angry person. Who wants Donald? Every office. No one wants Donald. Every office needs the angry person. I love person. Donald. But I no can, one, you really want to work with I Donald. I can identify the one. I mean, at LP, it's clearly Benji. <laughs> Does he ever say off we <laughs> oh, Now I want, I want that to happen. I want Benji to walk in after something goes wrong and go, ah, fooey. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Uh, Mike is not a good lip reader, so I'm in the clear. I'm in the clear. All right, the correct answer, according to you guys, is mini. That Aww, makes a lot of sense. Delightful. What's wrong with Daisy, though? She's got the staff. <laughs> Ah, phooey, you're fired. And every time you walk, Benji comes to my office a lot. <laughs> so Benji and I work together not only on LP. Ah, phooey, you're fired. <laughs> not only on LP, but in our day job. He's my boss. And he comes to my office a lot. And every time he opens that door, I think, 
Is this the time I get fired? Is this the time I get fired? And I mean, he'll come in my office 10 times a day, so it's very stressful. <laughs> Donna finally rode Ratatouille. Mickey Mouse. Oh, oh and the, the amazing Skyliner. So of those three, Donna, we know Skyliner is a butt, but of those three, what do you think? I mean, Guardians, pretty phenomenal, right? But all of them are great. I'd love to hear mm-hmm. what you think of those, Donna. Um, I am hope I've mentioned this to Donna. No, I mentioned it to her privately. So I'm not going to mention it here publicly, so never mind. Um, imagine the office, but now that would be, <laughs> as soon as AI video is ready. That's just LP. I'm going to, I'm going to request this. LP needs to make that. So in the, well, you don't watch the office. I was trying to think who's, which LP people would be office characters, but you don't watch the office. You can think you know. about it. You can tell us. Uh, the duck and the goof is coworkers. That's a resident. Yeah, it is. See, Daisy would be just as good as Minnie. Maybe even less <laughs> ego, less ego. Ego. I mean, when you're Minnie Mouse, you got some ego. Daisy has more of an ego. Feel. Really? I feel Daisy would think higher of herself than Minnie does. Wow. Got some Daisy hate going on here. I don't think she's a bad character for it. Okay. I think it's more her personality than Minnie. Okay. No one, hardly anyone shows Goofy. We all need that Goofy guy at work. Who we would miss? If you broke the camera and once upon a studio, you want that guy to be working at your company? Question. You, want, you want Goofy to be operating Soren? <laughs> Imagine how badly I that do. go. I do. Question number nine. Jason Tina, do you think Earth can cover rent? <laughs> In what decade does 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea take place? Which is better, that skinny ride or the sorry, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? 1860s, 1890s, 1910s, or 1930s? 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Which, which is, is better, the skinny ride on top of Speed Mover or yeah. uh, that? Or the, the, the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea movie? The movie? Oh, the movie was a snore fest. I also saw that at the El Capitan. <laughs> Woo! First time seeing it, too. Man, is that a snore fest. A great movie, you snore fest. Go on, Doobie. Who is who in the LP The Office matchup? Mashup. Well, obviously Benji is Michael Scott. <laughs> I am happy to be um, the guy, the cookie guy. What pretzel guy? I can't think of his name. You know what? I'm not going to do this because this is a good way to make people mad at me. <laughs> but I can identify Tony. Tony is without a doubt. No question. Dwight Schrute. There, I said it. Where's Kyle? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> I think Kyle is Jim. Kyle is definitely Jim. He's kind of... Kyle is... Jim is very laid... You don't watch... Jim is very laid back, very chill. Okay. Kyle is very laid back, very chill. <laughs> uh, he has his Michael Scott days and his David Wallace days. <laughs> He also has his, uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> yes, the movie. I hate this. <laughs> I really think Tony is more of a Dwight. Who would Mike Celestino be? <laughs> Rebecca says, I'm Michael Scott. Okay, fine. I'm Michael Scott. She's da- Benji's David Wallace, who's far more competent. Who would Mike Celestino be? In the office? <laughs> Mike, so he can't. Rebecca, what's the name of the HR guy? Yeah. Tony Tony Flinderson. <laughs> right, Mike. Mike again can't hear us, so I had to create a banner just for him. I see you are Tony Flinderson. <laughs> Who saw that, Mike? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> wow, Kyle! I'm so glad Benji doesn't watch. <laughs> you think you're more the Toby and Mike? See, okay, you guys can switch places. Jason is helping. Thank you, identify. Jason. Yes, Tony Flinderson. Um, These are yeah. some great names, by the way. Oh, someday you will watch The Office. It is the the second best sitcom of all time. Okay. Plain and simple. Second best sitcom of all time. Who's Kevin? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Who's Kevin? Kevin is a big doofus guy. You know, <laughs> Kevin Malone is definitely um, Cole. Cole is Kevin Malone. I'm, I'm saying that right there. 
with love to all of you. My goodness, you guys are like my family. I love every LPR so much. But Cole is, is uh, Kevin Moore. <laughs> Jason Moore here. I, I can picture Cole spilling a big thing of chili. <laughs> <laughs> Seinfeld, number one. All right, next question. Or the answer, I guess. Who is <laughs> We're running out of people. We're not that big a team. <laughs> uh not i don't know that we have a creed we're, we're not that bad <laughs> uh, i hope you mean his rebecca and not mine <laughs> but yes i did i did identify kyle as jim which would definitely make becca pam for sure they're a couple uh creed is just a creep and a total weirdo and completely strange mike celestino would be a creep no <laughs> I, I can't identify a creed on our team and I'm going to move on. 1860s is the correct answer. <laughs> but now those of you who wonder what the LP team is, you now have a way to kind of make some connections there. If you want to have some fun, think of who's left. <laughs> You're on the team. Yeah. I do one show. Who, who would you do that for? Do that for? There are no kids on the office. <laughs> we need to hire more. Are you looking for a job, Paul? Uh, let's see. If you are interested, email us at this is my office character name at laughingplace.com <laughs> and please put the name in the subject. And we'll, if we have an opening for that name, we'll take it into consideration. Uh, Uncle Orwell is in first place. That's how you know when you need to stop hiring people <laughs> when you run out of office characters. Exactly. There's a lot of characters. Mike had a mysterious past like Creed. That's a good point. Mike is also a performer in his past life like Creed. All right, Mike, you're now Creed. You're no longer Toby. <laughs> Tony, you're now Toby you, Plunderson. You, you didn't put up a thing though thank you nikki b you would be ryan ryan's the young intern who's like a know-it-all he's smarter than everybody there because he's in business school and he's kind of just having to be an idiot there but it doesn't always go well at the end fire die but yes you would definitely be ryan mike will probably take creed (laughs) exactly you're right tony mike celestino is creed um uncle orville is it a mysterious past? <laughs> Those aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> um, Uncle Orville with the perfect score here going, just ask question number 10, please. So here we go. Going for perfection. 1,500 points. Things can change. It's a hard one. Hard one. Where were most of the Avengers Battle of New York outdoor scenes filmed? Where were most of those scenes filmed? Was it New York City, Vancouver, West Virginia, or Cleveland? Which is better? Uh... Avengers Battle of New York scenes, whatever that means, or that Mickey walk around character. Oh man, that Mickey is Bafo. No, definitely Avengers Battle of New York is one of the great movie scenes of all time. I uh, Mike Celestino, you really could be both Dwight or Creed, but we'll leave you with Creed. We we have a Dwight opening though. We really need a Dwight. Who else is on the team? Who am I missing? You know our team. Look at LP. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to Mac or Jeremiah. Oh, oh <laughs> my. How could I forget? We have a Dwight Trude. <laughs> we have a Dwight Trude. And his name is Jeremiah Good. There is no question. Roll filled. <laughs> how could I forget? Mike oh, Mac God. is kind of kind of cool and hip. Yeah, who's, who's you look good today. <laughs> <laughs> Who is left on the office that is not a complete doofus? Yeah, I don't know that we have anyone left. Caitlin's wondering who would be who of the Muppets. That is hard because I don't know the Muppets. It's true, you don't know the Muppets. We need to get Mike to do that one. That would be good, yes. Yeah, I'm just not a Muppet guy, so. <laughs> oh, it's not saying. <laughs> Nikki sees that. Look at her. Very good. <laughs> All right, Gonzo is Creed, so I am Gonzo. Okay, Mike Celestino is on the. He didn't even hear your request, and he's already making Oscar. Yes, Mike Mack can be Oscar because Oscar is very competent. The Grouch, kind of smart, kind of above the rest of them. Mike Mack can be Oscar. Correct answer is Cleveland. Those scenes Snow White. were filmed in Cleveland. Where? Next to Mickey. Oh, it is. Yeah. All right, huh. Gideon, read. In third place, we have one little spark. In second place, we have Schnabs. And in first place, we have 
Old young Uncle Orville. Perfect score, Uncle Orville. Lost. No, no office, apparently. What was the place? Uh, it was seven. Jimmy Barra. Jimmy Barra. So Uncle Orville, Jimmy Barra, trivia at laughingplace.com. You know how this works. Whoa, that's not how it works. You know how this Whoa, works. we have no guests. We have no guests. There you can no fix one over that. There. If you want to be a guest on Disney Trivia Live. That could be you. Please contact. Uh, I want to be a guest at Disney <laughs> Trivia Live, and here's why. At laughingplace.com. Oh. <laughs> Put your why in the center. All right, come on over to lpquiz.com again as we prepare to play quiz number two, April Showers. This is all about either showers or rain. And in lpquiz.com, type in that pin number identification sequence, which is... That's not, that's not at all what it is. Which is... All it is is a number that lets you join the game. 3196. 3196. 3196. It looks like If you played last game and you got more than one question wrong, did you get Steve Harvey every time? I don't know if that feature still works. So let me know if you got Steve Harvey every time if you got more, you know, when you got a question wrong. Vanny Full Fanny's here. That's been a while. Uncle Orville, one little spark, and the rest of the trio. Chauncey Wiggins is back. Van the Man. Caitlin Granabby. Hey, Grandma and Grandpa. Granabby? Is that what it says? Or you add a, a second ah? I like, syllables. I like syllables. If a name doesn't have enough syllables, I just throw some more in there. Okay, okay, do we be, do we be, <laughs> do we e? So do Mike, we e? Mike is playing BTL without being able to hear it while waiting for Fires of the Rising Moon. Fire of the Rising Moon. That's a total creed thing to do. Mm, we got Ajax here. Oh, Ajax here. Like, why did we stop at eight? Ajax here. Here we go. There we go. Finally, Fire Mike right. C. Chauncey Wiggins, Uncle Orville. LP cast of Star Wars characters. <laughs> LP cast of Star Wars characters. That's uh, Darth Vader would be Benji. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's far too smart for that. He would be the Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. So who would be Vader? That's me. That makes me Luke. I get to be Jabba. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Karubarikija Solo. Ho, ho, ho. Not bad. Who's Mike? Mike is the dashing Han Solo. Okay. No, Mike is the annoying C3PO. <laughs> Tony. Oh, no, 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 no. Tony C3PO. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Yeah. Tony is definitely C3PO. Apparently, Dan says you would be Fozzy Bear if you were doing Muppets. One of my UGEM um, cohorts, Yeah. this older Asian lady, she calls me Fozzy Bear. That's great. Hi, Fozzy. You're fat. One time I called her Miss Piggy. She didn't appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh, why are you Fozzy? She just thinks I look like a big bear. Okay. It's a term of endearment. Okay, Fozzy. I hear something. Actually, no, I don't hear anything because I didn't fix things. But nevertheless, spin that wheel. Just ask someone in chat. First person to say to spin that wheel in chat gets their comment button on the screen. I know. Big prize. Okay. And they get some confetti, I guess. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Going on like American Idol or something? No one's saying it. Just wait, wait. Chat takes a while to update. Mm hmm. See, Kyle, Kyle would definitely be Luke Skywalker again. Kind of chill, kind of young. Yeah, because Luke Skywalker is so chill. Oh, Chewbacca. Who is Chewbacca? Mike? Cole. <laughs> you never decided who Mike is because you changed from CPO. Oh, Dan. Dan's the one spin the wheel. Mike, who's your Star Wars character? You gotta say it in chat. He can't hear us. He wants to be Bosk, but, you know, he's better than that. He's Lodico. Yeah, Lodico Sanguine, that's for sure. He's a uh, Lodico. Good evening to first or 12th place. You're your very own. Disney Trivia Live Maglet. We are now going to begin. I won't even wait for one of you to say you're ready. Where's the start? Start with the poll. You can't, you know, here we go. Which 80s singer was the greatest? 80s singer was the greatest. We have Michael Jackson, 
Madonna, Prince, and Lionel Richie. Schnabs is so correct. If we're doing Muppets, I see Rebecca as Kermit trying to maintain calm and order while everyone else is creating chaos. Who's the Yoda if you have to look at Star Wars? Oh, that would be Mike Celestino. <laughs> He's why. No. no. I could see that being Mike Is Celestino. Mike just George Lucas? <clears throat> I would say Yoda is Mike. Okay. Again, very eclectic. Much smarter than he looks. Is mom just Leia? Yes, of okay. course. Of course. Of course. Um, who is Han Solo, though? No, oh, I guess I get to be Han Solo. <laughs> Mom's Leia. I thought you were Java. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. Before? I that's can't imagine we have it, but that's shocking. That is it's crazy. weird to see a magic without a gift. Um, I think I have. Mm. Is she the one that sounds... No, no, I've heard her son. <laughs> or, no, Paris is... Yes, I have. It sounds just like him. You okay? Yep. All right. Covering that laugh that hit me at the time. That was not good. No <laughs> briefing. I think that's not the purpose. Little April Shower is a song from what film? Bambi? Make My Music, Alice in Wonderland, or Fun and Fancy Free. Little April Shower is a song from what film? Which you like more? I don't know, I gotta say that more. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know that. Okay, new category, Sistana. Of polls. I mean, of, of magic questions. Magic polls. Oh, magic polls, yes. Keep count, Donna. We've got one. Why did... Oh, yeah, he was a guest referee, wasn't he? In WWE. This, get ready. Since you're here, Don, I have a feeling you're going to be writing down a magic one here. Drip, drip, drop, little April shower. That is the first line of this song. Drip, drip, drop, little April showers. Do you remember them as you go along? No, I don't. No, I don't. But the correct answer is um, mark it down. Mark it Abra down. Abracadabra. What was that? Itchy. 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 What about Gilligan's Island? All right. Uh, Schnabs is in first place. He got that faster than he got it before. Wait, who would LP would be Gilligan's Island? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Gilligan? Who's the rest? <laughs> <laughs> and the rest. All, all those, magic questions. All those silent LPers who don't participate in Slack are the rest. When it rains at the Magic Kingdom, what parade is often performed? Is it the Splash and Soap Parade, the Splish Splash Spectacle, the Rainy Day Cavalcade, or the Puddles of Joy Parade? Fred does not believe that they have ever seen Bambi. You're afraid to? What kind of that happens in Bambi? What are you afraid of? What? Mm. Did your parents not let you finish Bambi yet? <laughs> I mean, it's. I guess it happens during Bambi. It's not in Bambi. You don't see it. That's true. Yeah. I like. You can infer anything you want. You can infer that she decided to go to Hollywood from the circus. <laughs> as, 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 as most Disney movies have shown, it's not much of a better fate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I, I always choose to believe Matt, Bambi's mom. Saw there was trouble and decided to go live in a different place. Maybe try a new profession. You know, she may be driving a cab now in New Jersey. So she just abandoned Bambi. Well, it's not like she didn't choose to. She couldn't get back to him. He, Dad was around. It's not like he was alone. Why do people assume the worst? I look for the... That's the you know, that's what sets me apart. I look for the good. Correct answer is the rainy day. Apparently, it is actually going to be all magic. <laughs> all right, will this be the first quiz we've ever had all magic questions? It's going to happen. <laughs> but it'd be great if it did. This is Tony's favorite daytime parade. Wow. Did not know that. That's crazy. Oh, tour. Tour. That means it's. Be Are you one of the people that walks down the street in a yellow jacket? Schnappy's in first place. One little spark. Hey, maybe that's what Jessica Rabbit's doing. Doing the rainy day kind of thing. 
<laughs> Question number three. Yeah, that's pretty. That, that, that's it. What word is missing? He placed it in a bottle and it floated out of sight, and the rain, rain, rain came down, down, down. So blank started bailing. So Tigger started bailing. So Eeyore started bailing. So Kanga started bailing, or so Piglet started bailing. Which word is missing? The rain, rain, rain came down. You got rid of the scoreboard. Oh, no, it doesn't. Sorry. Well, then don't put it there. You have anything to do right now. What? I'm doing? Apparently, Tony drove that trade in the yellow jacket, which he may or may not still have. You used to drive? You drove stuff? Were you like a Main Street vehicle guy, Tony? I didn't know that. He does everything, apparently. Fred Ramirez is guessing Eeyore. Do you know this one by any chance? I only do because I saw the answers coming in. No, that's right. So Piglet started bailing. Oh, oh one only, person. So Fred may be the only one that kept it from being a, another magical. Uh, that's Dad! Crazy. That's crazy. 90% guessed Piglet. 9% guessed Eeyore. What? What's 90 plus 9? 99. Oh. What, what's the total percent? Rounding. Rounding to what? No, rounding is a thing. It's like, let's yeah. say let's say there were... Uh, rounding is a thing. I know rounding. <laughs> Didn't you round to where the answer's always 100, though? I, I don't. I just do good math, and where, where it falls, it falls. That's hard programming. I can't do that. Uh, how many magic questions do we have this year? Donna is the keeper of the magic. A lot. Schnebby's in first place, Ooh. Chauncey Wiggins up into second, Ginny Barra, Caitlin, and Grandma and Grandpa. Is that three magics in a row? Technically. I mean, do we count the whole? That was not a five. Oh, yeah. All right, this is a type in, and in this one, spaces count. What is the exact name of the attraction these two are standing in front of in the rain? The exact name of that attraction in the background. Oh, this is the rain day. The canoes were not open. I mean, they may have been. I that was before I knew This was before your canoe thing. I remember the spaces one. Get some answers in, Pete. What's going on? There we go. Okay. The name of that attraction, spaces count. Emphasis on space. Spelling doesn't count, but spaces count. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you like my fruit punch? It's strong. Mm, I can see why you made that face when you drank it that one time. Ooh, uh, what do you say? Mm -mm. Nope. Spaces matter. Yeah. There's no space. Um, that that's fine. That's fine. That's not accurate. That's good. <laughs> wow. Oh, it is not the Golden Zephyr, folks. You you East Coast people with your Golden Zephyr guesses. <laughs> not a ride. <laughs> the trio. Impressive. All right. Tony with a career update. I was MK career with Splash Mountain. Merch, Liberty Square merch, and then Main Street Ops, Parade Vehicles, and Trains, where I met LP CEO back in the day. Wow, you drove Main Street Vehicles. And then he went and talked to Shrek or something. Oh, Donna's thinking of Grandma and Grandpa when I see their city sign on the highway here. That's right, Donna knows where everybody lives because she's in Donna Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer here is Astro Orbiter, two words. That is the Astro Orbiter as two distinct words. Mm hmm well done, people. At least five of you. That's going to change the top. Jenny Barr is in first place now. Grandma and Grandpa impressing in second. Though Fanny Fanny in third. Three perfect scores, and Grandma and Grandpa are among them. So impressive. Question Very impressive, yeah. Very number impressive. five. Another type in. Back to back typing. What movie is this rain scene from? What movie is this rain scene from? I probably should not have picked a reveal to type in, but that's okay. You'll figure it out. Take your time. Wow, fun fact. Disneyland is Orbiter with an O. Magic Kingdoms is Orbiter with an E. No idea why. Oh, man. This is uh, this is hard as a type in. This is kind of a cruel question. Sorry, Pete. Mm. Well, we've got some answers coming in now. He then he went to the other side and said, hello, Adele style, and flew with pterodons, hat trappers, nurse trikes, and then ran far quads dungeon, met your lovely wife. 
No idea. This is too slow. Wow. Yeah, this is really hard to do a type in as a picture of you. I, mm -hmm. I am sorry. So sorry. But to those of you who got it, well done. Well done, Mr. Sessinger. Uh, correct answer is, of course, you can see now, Mulan. There is the picture. Who is that girl I see sitting in the rain? Ginny Barr is still in first place. Schnepp now pops up in second. Grandma and Grandpa for Fanny and U of O. Question number six. What attraction has or had the line, I think someone has left the shower running? Would that be the Haunted Mansion, the Swift Family Treehouse, the Enchanted Tiki Room, or the Country Bear Jamboree? I think someone has left the shower running. I think someone has left the shower running. Who did? I think someone has left the shower running. I think someone has left the shower running. I think someone has left the shower running. Better go catch it. <laughs> could this be magical, Gideon? Uh, I think there's a chance it could. This is not a hard one. That's a nice shower. Why does that... Oh. Is it just in space? Yes. Is that a real shower? I'm sure it is. So why is like it just like look out to nothing? Because there's like a window back there, isn't it? If you're looking outside. Where is it looking out to? It just looks like. Alright, maybe it's not real. Void. Correct answer is oh, not magical, not even close. Enchanted Tiki Room, but we had some Robinson Treehouse guessers and that some make sense. Country Bear guessers. No one fell for the Haunted Mansion. Yes, it is the shower running. Shower running in the Tiki Room. Somebody has stolen my thunder. Jimmy Barra, Schnebs, Grandma and Grandpa in a very, very tight race. This is exciting. <laughs> Question number seven. This shower curtain was found at which Disney World Hotel? Is this from Art of Animation, Pop Century, Caribbean Beach, or All Star Movie? This is a cool curtain. This shower curtain was found at which Disney World Hotel? It is. I don't know if it's still there, but it was there when we took this picture. Shortly after it opened. You know it. I'm sure you would know this, right? I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen the answer yet, and I'm pretty sure I know it. It is the art of animation. But what's really interesting is it's actually from the Lion King section. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Be careful, my bird friends. The gods have been angered by all the silver you eat. <laughs> H2O soaps are friends. Not I know they're not food. Because you've tried them. And they're not yummy. Schnebs in first place. Look, whoa. We are seven questions in. Grandma and Grandpa are in second place. Tony should place. know that answer. He likes that. Take a uh, smile for the picture, Grandma and Grandpa. I don't play favorites, but I'm rooting for Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah. Uh -huh. Have they ever won a contest? I think they have. I think we did one like 70s movies. <laughs> did they win like that when we did Disney 100 70s? I don't know. Question number eight. I think they won. Where can you find these cool showers? Are these at the Grand Floridian, the Disneyland Hotel in Paris, the Grand Californian, or the Disney Cruise Line? I think I know this. I do. I definitely know this. Obviously, that was the question. Where do you find these very cool showers? I bet Tony knows this. Spent a fair amount of time hanging out in here. In one of his other careers. How many careers has Tony had? That's a great question. I would love a list of all of Tony's jobs. He's done so much. He, he's, he's, a, he's an eclectic. And eclectic he's soul. never found a place better than Laughing. I wasn't going to say that. People come to Laughing Place. They don't leave. They love That's it here. true. They love it here. Not all. A lot of people do. Oh, yeah. People who are still here do. There are worse jobs in the world. That is for sure. You being so confident in... <laughs> <laughs> you being so confident in O knowledge O. She used the uh, direct method of communication to say she hit send too soon. The correct answer here is the Disney Cruise Line. This is the rainforest room. Check it out. Some people... Love it and can just spend every day here. Some people not a big deal. Check it out because if you love it, you really love it, and you'll want to 
by a, a, a pass for the whole cruise and just spend a lot of time hanging out there. This is just one of the sections. Where's the, the food? Too. There's no food in the rainforest room. Where's the monkeys? <laughs> Not that kind of rainforest room. Um, I do know, but which ship is this? Which ship is this? I believe this is the fantasy, but I am not at all 100% sure. You being confident. <laughs> 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 yes, if you saw WrestleMania. Oh, no, this was actually, uh, this was yesterday, right? This SmackDown, or I mean, Raw or WrestleMania? It was Raw yesterday, yeah. Oh. Uh, Every WrestleMania, we become fans, and then we see how long we last. But we're in that period. <laughs> Schneppy's in first place. Grandma and Grandpa, two questions left. Let's go, Grandma and Grandpa. Let's go, Grandma and Grandpa. That's right. Tony's more of a tub guy, not a shower guy, huh? Yeah. Tub time with Tony. In the bay bath. Question number nine. Between Disneyland and Walt Disney World, how many rainforest cafes currently exist? Just those two locations. Zero, one, two, or three. <laughs> Rebecca is a wrestling mark. Yes. I am predicting. <laughs> I'm so happy, Madam Leona. So happy. Maybe once, once we move out there, we can all get together, both families, and enjoy WrestleMania together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome, Madam Leona? All sitting there watching WrestleMania? That would be so much fun. That would be such a blast. Big wrestling party. Forget Super Bowl parties. We're having WrestleMania parties. Oh, don't forget Super Bowl parties. Okay, we will do both. Correct answer is Gideon. Can we thank the Super Bowl for existing when it did so that way they could go to Super Nintendo World again? <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, I'll go get the pizza and never return. That's just cool. We'll order a delivery. Don't worry. Um, we'll, we'll show you. You're just not appreciating it properly. We'll teach you how. We'll Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> Attorneys General. <laughs> um, you're probably right, though. Do you know the answer to this? Uh, there are two. There are two. There are two at Walt Disney World. There are currently none at Disneyland. Yeah, they closed it for a hotel they didn't make, and so now it's just a Star Wars shop. And I'm glad I didn't just say Disney, because I did not know when I wrote this there was a Paris one. <laughs> Apparently there's a Tokyo one, too. Oh, really? Interesting. Wow. Are they? What is she laughing at? What is, what is she laughing at? What is mom laughing at? Oh, you got gifted a day at the Rainforest? Rainforest Room or Rainforest Cafe? Or some other Rainforest? Now that I'm confused. Oh, Rainforest Spa. God, it is cool. And then they also have, like, the hot tubs outside. It doesn't seem very cool. I mean, depending on which, which uh, ship you're on. Grandma, Grandpa, Grandma, Grandpa, Grandma, Grandpa, Grandma, Grandpa. Big favorite. I can play favorite. They're my grandma and grandpa. In Tokyo, is, is Tokyo Tokyo's in Ixpiari? That's a good question. I presume it is, but um, Kidder will let us know. Fun fact, Kidder. What's Ixpiari? Ixpiari is their downtown Disney. Oh, okay. Yes. Final question. What land was this rainy picture taken in? What land was this rainy picture taken in? Frontierland, Liberty Square, Adventureland, or Critter Country? Hmm. Are you having trouble with this? I'm shocked. Maybe I cropped it too close. I have a guess or a possible elevation. I have no idea where. Really? In that. You were in the picture. You don't remember? <laughs> it is an XBR. Thank you, Tony. Animal Kingdom was an option. I guess that. I would love to go to XBR. Yeah. Oh, that's I, why did I not put that as an option? I believe it's Adventureland, right? Yeah, just over here. Wait, did you crop it? Or the flying carpet? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's like the only thing I could possibly think look of. how cute that little boy is. That's me. In the rain. I was still wearing blue things over my shirt. <laughs> oh, poor Gideon looks so he well he was, but he was having the time of his life. Should take me on a jungle cruise. It is indeed Adventureland. Yes. Yeah, no, because it's cold out here. Look at this boy. He doesn't even have a jacket on. It's perfectly comfortable. There's a person walking over there with nothing on. Well, well they, they, they have stuff. Yeah, 
<laughs> no, no extra. Not even a poncho. They just walk right, around. Yeah. Yeah. Rain in Florida is not cold. I mean, the parks are so Something cold. to remember: if you go to Florida, it rains a lot in the summer, but it's not cold. It is not cold, which is weird for us Californians to have rain not be cold. Gideon. In third place, Uncle Orville. In second place, Grandma and Grandpa. Ooh, so close. But in first place, Schnabs. And in, uh, I believe it was twelfth place. Yeah, twelfth place. Come on, please. Sorry. The wrestle fan. The wrestling fan, Madame Leota. So, um, Schnabs and Madame Leota, TriviaLastPlace.com. You know what to do. What is what is Tony saying here? If you show all these photos on the streams, I can't wait to hear the stories about what photos you guys will show his prom day one day. Oh, oh yes. Poor poor kids growing up these days. Your whole life has been chronicled. My mom, by the time I was in prom, not that I went, she had like a handful of pictures of me. Nowadays, we, we'll have tens of thousands of pictures yeah, of you. Yeah, videos of me. Oh, God. It's crazy. Th these are like twice weekly, hour-long documentation That's of our true. lives. That is true. Someday when you are dating a girl, mm -hmm. she will want to find out more about you. And she will search. And this She'll will come up. Them. And she will just go, you did this like twice a week for years? Mm -hmm. I, I still could be doing it by then. Who knows how long this show's going to go <laughs> on. True. I hope you are. I'm going to be 37. I'm going to be sitting here every Tuesday. You're going to be dead. I'm going to be sitting here every Tuesday and Saturday night. All right. Uh, question for you, um, um, Kyle. Oh, no, I don't need to ask you a question, Kyle. I can find it myself. So Kyle said he wanted me to watch a song live. And, uh, oh, man, I'm jealous of the message Rebecca got sent. That accidentally got sent to me. Um, so I am going to listen to that song live right now. Um, there it is, right? Copyright. Copyright. Yeah, I don't I that. I'm not worried about copyright. If it picks it up, it just picks it up. Which one? It's called Journey to Fantasy Springs. Oh, that's not that. That's not this. You're right. Sneak peek. Journey to Fantasy Springs. It's right there. I thought that's the one I clicked. How sad. All right. So I'm going to listen to this, and he wanted to have my live reaction to it. You can stay here, too. Okay. Never heard this song before. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those songs. So. Oh, it's actually 10 billion. Can I mute it? So far, that's good. They're not bad. Oh, it just got better. So close. This is so good. This is awesome, right? All right. Get me in the field. Hi, Dan. It's a journey to Fanity Springs. I believe I can hear it. I don't know why we're A fairy tale beginning. Your dream is taking flight with magic and fire. Oh, you can't hear it. I guess the echo thing probably turns it off. Okay, well, then we won't get copyrighted. Ah, bummer, you can't hear it. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, okay, but now you can hear it. I have a feeling when you shared it. Oh, that makes sense.
I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. Not 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 great, but thumbs up. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's gonna do it for Disney Trivia Live. We had a great time today, didn't we? We had such a great time. We will see you Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. That's all. Peace out. Bye, everybody.